today we'll be looking into the coefficient of variation. Now, coefficient of variation provides us important information, especially in making investment decisions. Yeah. So let's look into what is coefficient of variation. CV is the ratio of standard deviation to the mean. Yeah? So we can see it's the standard deviation divided by the mean. And it's always reflected in terms of percentage. Yeah. So what it generally means. So let's say if I calculate the coefficient of variation and the value is small, so it means that the observations are closer to the mean and there is less dispersion yeah, among the observations which are the x here. And if I calculate and the CV is large, it means that the observations are further from the mean and there is more dispersion. So what am I trying to say over here? Let's say if I have a stock price, yeah, and I have collected the stock price from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and right up to Friday and so forth. So let's say on daily basis, if the changes in the stock price is small, it means that when I calculate the coefficient of variation, the value will also be small because there is less dispersion of the values. Okay, and if let's say for the stock price, if the changes in the stock price from one day to another day is going to be large, it means that there's huge fluctuation. It means that when I calculate the coefficient of variation, the value will be large. It means that the observations are dispersed further from the mean. Yeah. Now let's put it in, into an investment scenario. Yeah. So what what in, what information is important for the investor? So. If an investment okay, has a smaller CV, it means that it's less dispersion. It means there's going to be less risk. So therefore, we can really have an idea there's less fluctuation in the stock price or it's small. And if the CV is large, it means there's more dispersion, which can say higher risk. Why? Because there's more fluctuation in the stock price or the stock prices. The changes, okay, maybe on daily prices are big. So... A risk-averse investor will always go for a stock which has smaller CV. Yeah, okay, so it's actually taking a trade-off between risk and return. Yeah, so talking about risk and return, again, it depends on the investor. Yeah, if you're going for an investment that is less riskier, obviously the CV is going to be smaller, then it's going to give you lower return. But if you want to go for investment that is going to give you a higher return, then you have to take a bit more risk. Yeah, okay, so we'll be calculating the CV and uh, I'll show you how to calculate the CV using the Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's calculate the coefficient of variation using Excel. So I have the uh, closing stock prices here and these are again hypothetical figures, uh, figures. I have two stocks, I have stock A and stock B, yeah. So these uh, values are being recorded yeah, uh, on uh, closing price. So what we have to do is that yeah, in order for us to calculate the coefficient of variation, okay, according to the formula, is standard deviation divided by the mean. So we have to first calculate the mean and standard deviation for both these stocks first. Yeah? So let's calculate the mean first. So we type in the formula, equal sign, average. So we select stock A. Okay, and we click enter and we also calculate the mean for stock B yeah average yeah okay we click and we select the entire row then we calculate the standard deviation yeah yeah we have uh, Standard deviation, we calculate for stock A, we select again, click enter, and we calculate the standard deviation for okay, stock B. Yeah, we select the entire row and we click enter. Now what we have here is that we have the mean values and the standard deviation yeah, for both the stocks. So how do we calculate the coefficient of variation? We don't have to insert any formula. Okay, we can calculate them on manual basis. So we take standard deviation, we divide by mean, enter. So we've already got the coefficient of variation for stock A. Let's, let's, let's see how is the uh, coefficient of variation for stock B. So we have the standard deviation 
we divide by the mean. So we can see for stock B, okay, uh, the coefficient variation is 0 0.01. So if we compare these both stocks, we can see that the coefficient of variation for stock B is much more smaller compared to stock A. Yeah? Therefore, if there's going to be a risk-averse investor, he would prefer to go for stock B. Why? Because it is actually less riskier as compared to stock A. Yeah? So this is how we compute the coefficient of variation using Excel.